Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of The Colony, a Minecraft adventure presented to you by The Foss. Alright, well here I am guys, I am back here in the colony at long last, finally, jeez, it's been so long since I've been able to play this. Gosh, I've had such a long week this last week, so much school and just personal stuff to do, I'm so sorry about it, but now... Uh, this week I'm on I'm on uh, Thanksgiving break, so I'll be able to do a lot more with it. So, uh, but since the last episode, I've done a little bit of off-camera work, and I actually think that I may have gotten the supply drop out there from the Carver Republic. Uh, I was talking to him over the radio here, and uh, I had a supply drop radioed in, and it dropped right down over there. So we'll go have a look at that. But first, some vintage jazz. Alright, I discovered that little piece of work in a, um, I discovered that little piece of work in a, uh, dungeon chest, and I had to take it with me, so now I can play Smooth the Jazz from the Carver Republic over the radio, which is kind of cool. So, since last episode, I did, as you can see here, I did a few things in my industrial building. I have, right here, uh, I finished up my blast furnace, which is making steel and ash now, apparently. And I built this coke oven, which wasn't too hard to build. It took me about mm, half hour or so to get all the stuff for it. It only takes, like, sand and clay, I think. But it makes cool coke, which I put in here to fire the furnace to get me uh, steel. But that takes forever. Um, it takes, I think, like 300 seconds to make one cold uh, coke, maybe around 150 or so, and then like another 300 to make one piece of steel, so it takes forever. So, in the meantime, I'm going to be working on a couple of other projects I've been wanting to do, uh, like what's, uh, which has to do with what's in that supply drop over there, actually. And um, so I figure while, um, while, while I wait for that steel to be made, um, I think I'm going to start working on some other things, like... Uh, like these two right here, make booze and build the CRAS cipher. So let's just go in here and fight these real quick. I actually need some string for my um, for the CRAS cipher because I need wool, and wool isn't really an option right now because there's literally no. There are literally around here no sheep. I have looked all over. There are no sheep in the area, and I'm not willing to cheat all those in. I would. But I think that that'd be kind of cheap, and it might, you know, turn some viewers off if I just cheat a bunch of stuff in. So, not going to happen. I'm not going to get no supply drop over there from it. But, let's just go over here, and let's fight a couple more mobs. So, which is why I have to kill Spire, so I can get wool to craft it into string. Which I can then use. Not going to happen again. As some of you may know, we had an incident with skeletons a little while back. But that's why I need to kill spiders so I can craft their string into wool. Because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get enough to build the CRAS cipher. Which, of course, I'm not going to build the cipher right off. I've got the supply drop right there. That's where I dropped. But, of course, I'm not going to be able to build the cipher right off. Of I'm probably going to have to um, work on it for a while. But I want to have it have, like, airship bays and stuff in it I can use. Like, uh, I want to have it have, like, a couple smaller airships in it. Um, I need to eat some really quick. Like, a few small airships in it that I can, like, deploy off of it, like, in, like, a little bay on the bottom. It, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be, like, one huge super mega fortress for this place. But we will see that when it comes to it. So, for now, let's, um, find some things we put like this, this. We don't really need any of that right there. Um, oh dear. Let's just grab the things out of here. Oh, we don't really need chili seeds, do we? Oh dear. We, uh, we need coal. Let's just go dump off a few things, and we'll come back for that. So as you can see there, as you might have noticed, we have a supply drop from the Carver Republic there. And it is full of uh, materials to make booze with. Yay! So we can have some fine Carver Republican alcohol around here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, going to start making some booze there. So a little bit about the booze mod. I've, I know I've gone over it before, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about it because I think it's relevant at the moment. But the booze mod, it's it's actually quite a nice mod. It does it has a lot of realism to it and actually how stuff is made and everything. It's it's really quite a cool mod. I really do enjoy the booze mod. I think it's I think it's pretty cool actually. 
it's actually very realistic towards how you'd actually have to make it like you actually have to ferment things you have to leave stuff for a while it's it's pretty cool i think you guys will rightly like it as you can see, I have a few grapes I can go plant. I don't think Chardonnay will grow here. I think it takes a colder climate, but we can grow. But uh, we can grow Merlot and Val Valet Valiant. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's some French pronunciation or whatnot. Let's just grab the rest of the stuff out of here. As you can see, we also have some heather in that chest, which goes toward making a certain type of ale, and some hops, which I hope are the right type of hops. I think they're the right kind that I need in order to be able to uh, plant them. I know they're like the Industrial Craft 2 one, but we'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, uh, we'll just we'll just do it again. Let's just throw stuff in there. We don't really need it right now. And um, All right, well, let's get started on a few things. We need to get started in the booze mod, so actually we're going to need some wood, so we're going to have to go back up here. Eucalyptus wood. Whoa, 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 don't throw the seeds. We need those seeds for food around here, so I can take this. I need that. And this should... Okay, it does not recognize... Natura, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Natura, uh, wood, I guess. So we need some real wood, like some oak wood here. That should do it. Because we're going to build a barrel. Because the barrel is key to most of the things. Well, there we go. There's our barrel. Let's just throw that out there. Oh, it's so cool. I'm just going to go throw a few things in this chest here that I don't need right now, like this brain and that wood and these ashes and that spider eye and that rotten flesh and... Yeah, a lot of things there. So there's our barrel. That will become integral later on, but as of right now, I'm not hugely sure what it's used for. I know you use it for a lot of fermenting stuff like that, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So I need some glass. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I have a ton of string. Oh, sweet. Oh, I got 32 string. That gives me a ton of, um, it gives me a ton of wool to work with. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I even have some wool in these chests somewhere, do I? Seems like I did at one time. Oh, there we go. I actually have two wool in there. Oh, I can, and of course, I can always salvage the parachute the thing floated down on, so... Yeah, I forgot I don't have any coal in there. Let's just throw a, few, a couple things of coal in there and get that going. Then we're going to need a distillery. Because I think you can, um... I'm not really sure about everything you can make with this mod, but I think it's like, uh... I think you can have, like, four varieties of wine, four varieties of beer, uh, vodka, applejack... Cider. I think there's a couple other things you can have. There we go. Distillery top, which we also need. Um, I think there's like I know there's a couple other things. I just can't remember what they are at the moment. <sighs> I'll get around to them. Uh, oh yeah, scotch, whiskey, that kind of stuff. That's also stuff you can get. I should probably limit that. So let's just make a quick run out here. Actually, wait, it's daytime. We don't have to make a quick run. We'll be fine. Got the old highway run going on there. Going into the midnight sun. That's a reference, by the way. If anyone gets it, post it in the comments section. I will be so happy if any of you guys get that reference. Great band, that is. Okay, so now we have some wool. So the reason why I need wool is because for the airship you need air balloons, which are they're uh, they're like the balloons, and like 40% of the airship I think has been made up of them. Or else it won't work. So let's just take this right here, what we have, and there we go. Oh, which ones? We also need... Oh, yeah, we also need cheesecloth. Which we're going to need... Oh, there we go. 32 cheesecloth for booze. Let's make another one of those, and let's make an air balloon. Whoa, got that really scattered in the old inventory there. Let's make two more. There we go. 13 air balloons. That should be enough for us. So this glass should be enough to make a carboy, which I think you make like that. No, how do you make it? Carboy is something you transfer a lot like the... um alcohol into. So let's see. Uh, a carboy. There we go. That's the right one. Okay, so I just had it wrong. Okay, so there we go. There's That's empty jars. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I thought I fixed all the IDs. Gosh dang it. Okay, well, okay, we're not making the carboy right now. I'm going to have to do a little bit of ID work there, because that's an ID error I'm having that's a conflict there. I'm going to have to change a few IDs around with the Biomes of Plenty mod, as you can see. Well, wow, right as I went to go grab that bone, it disappeared. Wow. Oh, jeez, I actually thought I had that fixed. It actually it never showed that right there. It showed that as being fixed. Ah, well, we'll figure it out. I will, um, I'll just do a little bit of off-camera work and fix that. Whatever. It can be fixed pretty easily. It's not a big deal. 
but at any rate, so let's get started. Um, mm, what do I want to start with? I think I'm going to start by building a little airship, because I don't know a huge amount... Whoa, there's a lot of like, weird-looking slime spawning on that map there. It's only slightly disconcerting. Oh, redwood planks. I think I can use those to build an airship. So let's see, so to build an airship, we need a ship... A ship helm. So I have new requires iron, sticks, that's not too hard, we have a bunch of sticks up here. Uh, we had a bunch of sticks up here, back from the days when we needed fences, and I went a little bit overboard with the sticks. That was, that was a good time that time. <sighs> so let's see if these work there. Oh, that makes me a wooden gear, I think. Oh, come on, doesn't work? Oh yeah, it requires the normal planks. Alright, whatever, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll bite, I'll bite. All right, all right. That's one thing I always hated is when the um, when the oh iron wheels for Steve's carts. It's a fun mod that Steve's carts. All right, so let's head out there and let's see what we can do about getting us an airship. So now I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't going to be a very pretty airship. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. I think that guy was trying to come after. Yeah, he was. Crap, that's a creeper. Get back in the building. Get back in the building. We almost, almost blew the place up right there. At any rate, let's just sort that real quick. Um, let's see. I just totally lost... Oh, yes, I remember what I was going to do. I was going in here to grab fences. Because fences make airships look nice. There we go. Alright, so I think that's all we... I think that's all we rightly need. Except for to get... Ooh, that thing almost blew up. You hear that? Oh, that was close, that right there. Alright, so this should be a nice little spot right here to build our first airship. So, let's see. How should we build this? Wait, I have a hatchet for a reason. There we go. Let's build something simple. Something like this. Um, I already have no idea if this is actually going to work. There's a high chance that it, that it won't. There we go. We're going to call this thing the CRIS Ugly, because it's going to look real bad. See if we can take off, go down, go up, go down. Oh, no, we can't do anything. Oh, we can move around, though. We can move around very slowly, but we can move. Let me check the controls on that thing. I know I... Oh, let's see, Archimedes ships. Okay, so ascend, descend, so X makes me go up. Let's see if I can use X to go up. Oh, we know journey map. Journey map screws with that. Um, let me just configure that really quick. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. I need journey map. There we go. No, no, I don't. What does that conflict with? It's got to be something about the map. But what other map do I have on here? I don't know. Let's just look for anything that contributes with X. X, I see two. Where's Magica? Ender Pack. Sun Ship for that. I have no idea. Okay, let's, um... Alright, let's just adjust that again. Let's just uh, make that a cool another key, like an A. No, I need that to be an X, actually. Let's make it like a left shift. No, an X. I have no idea what mod that is. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oops, sorry about that, you guys. That That's quite embarrassing, that right there, actually. Let's just relog that world. Relog that world. Insanely sorry about that. Um, wait, did that thing just go up? Oh, no, I just... Oh, no, I'm just out of the ship. How do I get out? There we go. Okay, so I'll snap back to the world terrain. Uh, let's just use some fences to get up there. Oh, jeez, come on. Fences. Minecraft's great untapped resource. And quite possibly it's most annoying. Those things just build right above you like that, don't they? Let's see. So we can go to that right there and go to that. Let's see if that helps whatsoever. Uh, maybe it will. Nope, we still can't ascend. If we knock off these blocks on the corners, it'll make it, it'll become 40%. Let's have a look. Maybe this will help. 
Nope, still nothing. Um, if we knock off this... I gotta fix those controls. Um... It has got to be something about the REI's map up there, because it's kind of screwing up. Yeah, it has to be something about the mini-map up there. Is it this? No. Is it this? Nope. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I have no idea. Conflicting. Um, let's find whatever conflicts with X. Let's see. C2 hub expand key. Darkcraft is the ender pack for that. Huh, it doesn't seem like anything really conflicts with that. Let's just try saying it to the key like a V. Let's just try saying it to V for now. V shouldn't do anything. At least I hope not. V. Oh, there we go! Oh! Oh! Oh, we're taking off! Oh! We're flying! Oh, here we go! Oh, look at this! Oh. We're still going. We can't stop. We can't stop. We can't stop! Oh my gosh, check this out, guys! Oh, we're flying! Oh, it's beautiful. Let's just hop off the ship and see if maybe we could, like, put these back on. Does it still go up and down? No, we don't want that key. We want this key. Oh my gosh, look at it, guys. Isn't it beautiful? This is it. This right here is what it is. This is what it's all about right here. Floating on a platform. Flying over the colony. Let's just get an aerial shot of the colony as it stands right now. Let's just have a look around. Oh, that is beautiful. This is not the cipher in any way, shape, or form, but it is a start. Houston, we have liftoff. We're going to say that again someday. What well, if we got like, the entities like thing going on up there? All right, let's take her back down. Can we take it down? Does it, does it go down? Oh, dear. Something is conflicting with that mini-map. I promise I will have this fixed next episode, because this is quite an embarrassment right now. Um, hmm. What conflicts with Z? Or Z, actually, is what we're looking for. Z, 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 Z. Z. Ars Magica. I don't know, let's just set to something like B for now. Okay, so we got V and B here. Does B take us down now? No, we can't descend. Wait, what? Oh, oh dear. I think we may very well have a very serious problem here. I don't think... Oh, there we go. We can align to the world grid. But I think we can only ascend at the moment. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, N, maybe? Maybe N will do it? N? We can't descend. Oh, my gosh, we're stuck. Oh, dear. Whew. I'm stuck on a floating platform. I can't get off. Oh my gosh. And I'm out of time for this episode. I can only go upward. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is terrible. This is this went from like a moment of joy to a moment of disaster. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I guess that's where I'm going to have to cut it until I can figure out how to fix this. Oh jeez. Ah! Well, crap. Well, that was one way to fix it, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I guess we're not trapped on... At least we're not trapped on a platform anymore, but... There's the platform now. <laughs> Stuck up above the top of the flipping colony. Oh. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Oh, at any rate, that is where I'm going to have to cut it for this episode. I will have that all fixed by the time I am back next time. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video and that hilarious bit right there. Jeez, there's the there's the zenith up there stuck or, or zenith or whatever I'm gonna call it. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but oh, uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, jeez, <laughs> I even got I even got like the flipping crappy hatchet back again. I got like all the crappy hatchets I don't need anymore back. Oh, at any rate, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one where I will hopefully fix some of the problems we're currently facing. And, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And, um, this is The Foss, signing off.